elected. At the moment, it looks like the two people to make the runoff will be businessman David Perdue and Congressman Jack Kingston. To make a point, there are no liberal or moderate Republicans on this screen. These are all conservatives, but David Perdue is a mainstream. Jack Kingston has the endorsement of the Chamber of Commerce. One person to watch tonight, Karen Handel. She's been running third in the polls, backed by Sarah Palin, some other Tea Party support. If she could get into the runoff, it would change the dynamic. At the moment, it looks like these two candidates, and again, the establishment is okay with either one, they would face up against Michelle Nunn. Name seem familiar? Her dad, Sam Nunn, was the Democratic senator for Georgia for quite some time. She will be the Democratic candidate again. Democrats believe they have a chance here, but she has not run statewide before. She's new as a candidate for public office, and just in the past week, she's made two statements that you might call Wolf unforced errors. Let's listen to this. We'll talk about it on the other side. We need accountability. We need to make sure there's congressional oversight of this issue. I defer uh, to, uh, to the president's judgment about the leadership that will be necessary to ensure that accountability. Would you have voted for the Affordable Care Act? So at the time that the Affordable Health Care Act was, uh, was passed, I was working for Points of Light. I wish that we had had more people who had tried to architect a bipartisan legislation. So, so no, yes or no? So, you know, I think it's impossible to look back retrospectively and say, what would you have done when you were there? Uh, great questions there on the last time by Casey Hunt of NBC News. Look, if you're running for office in 2014, you're a Democratic candidate, you have to have a yes or no answer. Would you have voted for Obamacare? Then you can add to it, but you have to have an answer. She didn't have one there. That first soundbite was in a debate. It was about whether Eric Shinseki should stay on at the Department of Veteran Affairs. Georgia has a big military tradition, a lot of veterans, a lot of military bases. Deferring to the president in a state where he is very unpopular, uh, not the right thing for a candidate to do. So uh, Michelle Nunn making a couple unforced errors makes the Republicans more confident they'll keep Georgia, no matter what happens. Karen Handel gets the Republican nomination.